to go with hers because no I didn't want any I don't think I needed any but Naisha and little bean have a doctor's appointment soon so we're just trying to get some fuel in us before we go so excited guys we're at 34 weeks how you feeling mama <laughs> aside from big how do you feel I just want I just want to be done. Yeah. Yeah. The pregnancy wasn't bad or anything, but some of the symptoms that you get towards the end are just <laughs> like what the heck? Oh my gosh! Well, but it'll be well worth it. I... Wow, mommy! Wait, 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 wait! Show up! Show us the bump! Show us the bump! I'm really not showing them. Yeah. Yes, come on. Everyone makes fun of it. I love it. Look at the bump. Look at Oh my god. Don't look at me belly button. It's so big, baby. Oh, model your new shorts. Oh, get it, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't think you guys realize, I don't think we even realize how much we're going to be in for once Little Bean gets here. So Naisha's appointment is at what, 10.15? 10. 10. 10. We had to wake up a whole two hours before. We're like 30 minutes away from, from the hospital, the doctor's office, whatever. But we had to wake up a whole two hours early. Fine. And well, So that way we could take Philly. You can take a shower this morning, we could eat, and then go. And we had to wake up two hours early for that. Okay. When little Bean gets here, that's a whole nother person to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just, no, I'm now, just sitting here thinking, thinking about, about that. About it, like, you know, having to feed and yeah. change and... <laughs> all of that. Make sure you have extra clothes, all the diapers, all See, of that stuff. See, that's when you just get all, of, at least all of that ready. The, the night, night before. before. Yeah. Have that's, everything. Yeah, out. that's the way you should do it. But, yeah. I was just sitting here thinking about that. We're in for it. Did I not shake this one? Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and have my breakfast. Well... Jay is driving us to my appointment today because my doctor's office is right next to the hospital that I'll be giving birth at. So he wanted to see how the drive was himself because I've always driven myself because he can't come into the appointments and stuff. So I've just been driving and we've never been this close to actually giving birth. So he's driving to see how it is and i'm just chilling here but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting drive for sure but get out the way boo <laughs> um, but i think this appointment i think is to check if i have strep b so that's kind of gonna play a role in like my birth plan and stuff 
um, if I'm positive or negative. Um, we'll see. But, jeez. Right, idiots <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, so once I figure that out, um, that will really decide if we'll be leaving sooner or later is pretty much um, what that's going to decide, obviously, because you need antibiotics and stuff like that. So, yeah. Sounds like we're on the Hulk. This is like the closest you'll get for a little while. I know. <laughs> Ugh, I've been wanting to go to Universal so bad because we were like, we were planning it before COVID even hit, we were going to get passes to Universal, annual like yearly, pass. yeah, yeah. yeah, an annual pla pass. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, and then literally like the month we were going to get it, they were like, oh, there's this virus. And we were like, hmm, maybe we should hold on. Yeah. So we didn't end up getting them, which I guess works out Yeah. because I got pregnant anyway, a few months after. So whatever <laughs> annual passes little bean uh, yeah ah, you know <laughs> even though i really want to go on the new roller coaster oh, i know i'm so sad i know and but, i'm not gonna go without you because that's just me <laughs> we have to go together i know i'm hoping soon but obviously i have to we have to wait but anyway so let's see how this drive goes Well guys, I did it. We made it in one piece. Hit some traffic, which it's good to like know like the traffic spots, which were like two, right? Mm -hmm. So not bad, not a bad drive. It's in the middle of the morning. Middle of the morning. It's rush hour time. Well, not even really rush hour time, but mm -hmm. people going to no. They're like this is. A, I'm just saying this is a good time to like see the traffic flow because like some people are still going into work for ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's all. Let's get into this appointment. Hey baby, we'll be making this walk soon and little bean will be on the way. You know that. Hopefully it won't be this far away though. Yeah, I know. Look, look at your little waddle. <laughs> you look so cute. We're gonna look back on these vlogs and be like, why did we have to wear masks again? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stop. sorry. Ugh. What? I got the same stupid nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Just your luck, right? Oh, this elevator does suck. It like jolts. Oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, time to get out of here. Okay, bye, baby. Love you. Alright, so as you guys know, of course, because of COVID, I can't go into the doctor's appointments with her. I've never actually come in the building with her only to the ultrasound which was downstairs but she's over there walking all the way down the hall <laughs> and i have to sit here and just wait for her to come out covid sucks hey guys so update from the appointment wasn't the best um my blood pressure is really high so we're going over to the hospital, which is right next door to where my doctor's office is, for some monitoring. Um, I guess the hospital, like, they can, you know, check your blood pressure, like, you know, I don't know if it's like it, I don't know, they can check it over like a period of time that the doctor office can't. Um, so, um, yeah, we're headed over to the hospital. And, um, I also have been itching a lot on my hands and my feet, so I have to get blood work for that, as that could be another condition. 
um, that I possibly could have. You're probably going to have to go around. This is a lot of freaking, um, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Well, there might be one right there. Mm, I think there's a car there. I'm pretty sure. The f oh, yeah. The I can't even tell, actually. Watch it be like a motorcycle. Of course. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're headed to the hospital for monitoring and, oh. The tiniest little car. I knew I saw something, but I wasn't sure. Um, I'm trying to just be positive, um, but, I don't know, this is, oh, we have to go back in. <laughs> Fail. Just do a Yui right here. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, it's, uh, what do you think? I don't know, I just freaked out more because I could, I wasn't in there with you. Yeah. Like, literally, she could only text me what was going on. Yeah, because she had taken my blood pressure twice, and then she was like, oh, you know, we'll wait for you to settle down. And usually, like, my blood pressure, you probably have to go up and around that way. Usually my, my blood pressure's good, like really low. Um, you can't park in there? No, those are reserved. <laughs> reserved for who? I don't know. Um, yeah, usually my blood pressure is really low. There you go. Better than nothing. Just go right in this one. Um, so I was kind of like, why is she taking it twice? And it was still high. So they want to make sure it doesn't get over like 160 because then they'd have to deliver so even if it's like today and our bag isn't packed we don't have that's our... all i could think about the whole time like the baby's bag has been packed for like weeks our bag isn't packed and we, and we don't we even were... have anything because it was just supposed to be a doctor's appointment right so um, yeah okay anyway we're gonna head in um and yeah we'll Hey guys, so we just got to the room. She just got hooked up with all her monitors and taking blood pressure and little beans heartbeat. And you can see like how swollen her feet are. Like her ankle normal, and then that one she has like no ankle. Yeah. So that's why we're here. How you doing mama? Are you uh, breathing with your mask? <laughs> and there's little Bean's heart rate. That's my heart rate. Oh, which one's little Bean's? That pink thing. Um, I thought those were for contractions. I have so much to learn. Oh my god, I'm just a hot mess. Okay, so. Yeah, so little bean's heart rate's on the top, the 130. Okay, Remember? and then yours is the one on the bottom? It's the 80 and the pulse. Oh, okay. What's the 154 over 94? That's my, that's my blood pressure. I thought 160 was like the liver. It's high. Wait, that high? I thought you said 130. Oh, that's 130. Oh my god. Okay, so her blood pressure went up that much. Like literally we came from right next door at her doctor's office for her regular appointment. You were 130 over over 90. And right now she is 154 over 94. And her doctor told her over there 160 was high. Like bad and like needed to get the baby out. And I said little bean is only about four pounds right now. Little Bean, we want to meet you. Can you need to cook a little bit longer? <sighs> well, this is uh, the view we have to look at. 
not much of anything right here. You see some construction workers, but the skyline looks really pretty. All right, guys, so it's 12, 8. Wow, that was such a fail. I opened up my camera. It's 12, 18 right now. Uh, we've been here for about 45 minutes. Naisha is actually having contractions three to five minutes apart. She's not feeling them. She's like shaking though, but she's not cold. And her blood pressure has been really high. The highest it was was like 180 something over... No, 160. No, it was 180. The one before the last one. It was 182. Over 100? Yes. And then it went down to 162. But it's been very high, so they're actually getting ready to give her some medication to see if they can bring it down. They also just gave her an IV as well, so... <sighs> 12, 18. Yes. So it is now 12.43. Uh, the doctor just came in. Um, they're basically still trying to see how elevated, like, there's levels to preeclampsia, I guess. So they're trying to figure out what level she's on, if it's, like, the severe... Well, that's where she was, severe, where they had to treat it with medication to bring it down. They're still trying to decide if she has preeclampsia or not. But we are, yeah, we're waiting on blood work um, and the urinalysis to come back to see like proteins and the pee and all that good stuff. So we are going to be staying overnight, um, at the very least overnight. Uh, possibly it could be longer and the doctor did mention possibly an early delivery as well. So we will see. Um, so now we have to coordinate with Naisha's mom. I'll have to go back to the house once she gets settled in a room. I'll have to go back to the house and pack up some stuff and leave a key for her mom and get Philly all set for when her mom comes to pick her up. This is not what we had on the schedule for today, <laughs> just to let you know. We were only supposed to go to the doctor's appointment and then go go shop, like not shopping, but uh, exchange something, but here we are. How you doing, mama? Good, and you have your appointment tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And you have to do that. I don't know if, oh my gosh, it's a military doctor's appointment. It took forever to get it. And it's far. And south. it's an hour away from where we live. Oh, It'll it's be, closer to here then. No, it's in the opposite direction. Oh, shit. It's further away from here. Longwood? No, Lakeland. Oh, weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I'm going to have to text my sergeant and <laughs> find out what I need to do. <sighs> okay. It's just stress all around. It's been a day. And it's and it's only 12.45 and it's been a day. All right, guys, it is now 1.54. Just got moved to a room. How you doing, mama? <sighs> I'm so stressed out. Uh, I'm trying not to stress out. I know. Because yeah. we just didn't think this, like we just had just a regular appointment. and Here we are. Yeah. But you're doing great, mom. <sighs> you're doing great. She's uh, actually still having contractions, which they slowed down from when we first got here, but she's still having contractions. So that's what the nurse just told her. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys kind of what our room looks like. So it's a little like this for a little bean if it's the time. My beautiful bed. Oh, man, I need the bean. Oh, my goodness. There and back here is the bathroom with the little they have like a tub thing in here. A tub? Like they have a, a bathtub but then there's like a inflatable thing in the bathtub. Interesting. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Alright. I'm actually getting ready to leave right now to run out of the house, go grab some stuff, meet Nice's mom so she can pick up Philly so that I can come back and we're prepared because Right now, like, there's, like, a lot of unknowns. They're pretty much sure that they're going to diagnose her with preeclampsia. Um, and either we're going to just be here tonight until tomorrow so they can monitor her. And we could either be going home tomorrow, more than likely not. Um, or the baby can be delivered tomorrow. Or we could just be here until the baby is delivered. Is that right? That's kind of what she said, right? So there's just like a lot of unknowns. So when you go home and grab some stuff, um, so that way in case we're here for a week, we have enough stuff to kind of get us going. Um, but yeah, so I need to get on the road so I can meet Nice's mom at the house. But holy crap, guys. Of course, of all days, 
I run into all this traffic so I didn't even get to vlog it because I was just trying to get everything done as fast as possible but I quickly ran home packed a bag for me and Naisha little beans bag was already packed I had a pack a bag for Philly so she could go with Naisha's mom give her keys and instructions and all of that and then now I'm headed back to the hospital uh, Naisha just told me um, right before I got to the house that they're actually inducing her today. So Little Bean is coming either like later tonight, if not sometime tomorrow, we don't know. They did do a cervix check on her already and her cervix I guess was really high so they said it's gonna be a long labor. Um, so at least I got some time. They started her on a magnesium drip. So she's like kind of out of it right now and just not feeling the best. But I'm almost there, close but Far away, a lot of traffic. All right guys, I'm back with Naisha. She is all set up in the room, filling out some hospital forms and stuff. Um, we're gonna end the vlog here. Uh, that was weird, I thought somebody was coming in. But she, um, you haven't been induced yet. They put a pill in. They put a pill in to help your cervix. Yeah, to dilate, yes. I couldn't find the words today's just been crazy so she's just got a headache and stuff she's on um magnesium drip over there so she feels a little wonky and stuff but we're gonna end the vlog here because the very next vlog you see will be little beans birth vlog how you doing mama <laughs> 10 out of 10 don't recommend preeclampsia <laughs> just kidding there's nothing you can do <laughs> but my levels are off the charts. So. Yeah. This is what's safest and what's best for you and Little Bean. Little Bean's chilling. But, alright guys, thanks for being a part of this crazy day. <laughs> Good night from NJ and Filet. Yeah, I miss food. No. She's and I can't eat. <laughs> yeah, she can't eat. She can't eat anything because she's getting I induced. Pee. I'm not peeing on the bedpan, damn it. For the second time. Oh, or was that supposed to be our secret? <laughs> uh, Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>